This video is sponsored by you. Links to support the channel are in the description. Stationary security service is much like that girl you like. You cannot fix it. You know it's bad for a game mode when the developers start putting its rewards everywhere else so you can completely skip it and lose out on nothing. This is unprecedented. A mod HG is so embarrassed about that they patch it later, so you can ignore it. That's how hard this thing failed. This mod was a catastrophe, matched in stupidness only by the Ocean Gate submarine incident, and the attempts to fix it through patches were the equivalent of performing CPR on the decapitation victim. But why? To find out, we really have to look at only two things. How SSS was at launch, and how SSS is now. There's no point going over its entire history. We're not in a pretentious video as a channel here. So, hello there. Terraria has no sighted YouTuber here. Once again, detailing every single mistake this game has ever committed. Like your ex-girlfriend during an argument. SSS is a side mode in Ark Knights that, like the rest of them, tries a new form of really experimental tower defense gameplay. This time, the gimmick is being able to stack multiple operators on top of each other, like Lud Jenga, progressively gaining more and more buffs to face enemies that get buffed over time themselves. There is no limit to this enemy buff, actually. Put a pin on that. It will be important later. On paper, this mod sounds pretty fun. But it's when you stop and actually play it that you realize it's actually held together with rubble bands and wishful thinking. Let's start with how it was originally at launch. Have you ever played Yu-Gi-Oh! or any other card game? It's pretty similar to that actually. First, you must form your squad. You can choose one or more operator compared to the normal game, 14 in total. This is your deck. Each class will give a specific buff when stacked on top of each other, but the only ones that matter are Sniper and Supporter. Sniper increases attack speed a ton, and Supporter is basically Pot of Glade. Once starting a stage, you'll notice the first glaring issue with this mod, which is the lampant LNG built to match the casinos in Vegas. At the start, you get a hand of operators from the deck you built before, and you can swap up to four of them. By killing enemies or leeching certain points in the stage, you can draw more operators from your deck. This is also random, of course. Supporters will allow you to draw immediately once deployed, which is why I made the Pot of Glide comparison. When you stack an operator on top of another, the replaced operator will go to the recuperation area. Let's call it the graveyard. Initially, this is not much of an issue. If you build your squad correctly instead of playing wave over meta like an idiot, the energy will barely be a factor. But this is when SSS decides to punch you in the left knot. After each of the 8 stages, you must select one more operator to add to your deck. This would be bad enough, because it means more LNG when you actually draw the operators. But here's the punch in the right knot. These operators are completely randomized from your entire box, meaning you can and will get E0 operators you've never used and operators you've built but are useless in this mode. What this translates to is that as you progress, your deck gets filled with more and more trash like a Twitch streamer's living space, making the mode more and more LNG reliant, making you want to hang yourself when you once again draw worthless jobbers that the game forced you to add to your deck. This translates into two terrible things. One. You must fill your initial squad with as many supporters as you can to ensure you'll have enough drawing power to combat the heavy LNG in the later stages. But not too many supporters, because then you'll add the complete mercy of the LNG after the stages. Two, it funnels you into one specific, very boring kind of strategy. You know how people keep saying Doom Eternal pushes you in the fun zone? This is the opposite. SSS does all in its power to restrict freedom with strategies as much as it can, pushing you toward unfun and long-winded and boring solutions. This is because you need to combat the LNG and you need to combat the insane stats the enemies will reach. The best strategy for SSS is, without question, Stall. Cloud control is absolute king here. The issue with that is that 
This creates a loop. Stall strategies take a lot of time to kill enemies, which means they get buffed more, which means they'll take even longer to kill, which means they get buffed even more, and so on. Remember, there is no limit to how much they can get buffed. It's a unique this. Eating her own tail. If you use a slow strategy, it will only make itself slower over time. But if you use a fast strategy, you won't be able to deal with the bloated stats. Something in the middle has the worst of both worlds. Putting all of this together, you created a mod that is a frustrating, overly LNG reliant, boring, way too long, way too hard for the average player, while also being very difficult to look up guides for due to the heavy LNG. And that funnels said player into a specific boring playstyle. Essentially a slog you must subject yourself to. Because at the time, the materials it offered were almost only found here. And you needed that shit to get modules. Which are super important on some operators. I cannot describe how genuinely maddening launch SSS was. It's almost as bad as a healing out Scuddy fans when it comes to psychological pain. The mod itself attempts to mitigate it with these little gadgets that like lets you draw holy cover from the graveyard. But it's too little. The developers noticed nobody liked this mod. But since HG has a serious ego problem, instead of scrapping the dog shit mod, they double down and try to salvage it, like they do with all the other dog shit mods. The changes are, honestly, all extremely positive. First, you can only get operators you use often between stages, meaning normal elite zero fodder. You'll almost always get someone useful. There is also a chance to have the option to not add anyone and not bloat your deck. Also, the choice of operators went from 4 to 5. This alone solves half of the energy issues. Then, they buffed supporters. Solving the other half of the LNG issue, as now you can just put 5 supporters in the initial squad and you have so much drawing power that as long as you build your squad even somewhat decently, you won't have a problem. About said squad, they increased it to 20 operators, again reducing the LNG as you have a far more control over what operators to bling. This basically completely resolved the LNG issue that SSS had. They reduced the stages from 8 to 6, shortening the mod a lot too. Lastly, now there is a cap on how much the enemies can get buffed, meaning stall strats won't make themselves longer at infinitum anymore. Yet, they still gave up on it. It still sucks, and nobody likes it, even after such major improvements. Safe to say, it could not pull a No Man's Sky. Rather, it pulled a Payday 3. There is improvement, yes, but it's too little too late. And it's not resolving one giant glaring issue. And that is the fact that SSS, to this day, still funnels you into stall. It still very much limits what you can do with it. And if there is one thing I learned from the Arknight community, is that we really like player expression. We love it when this game gives us a lot of options to deal with problems. That's why niche nights are so popular. It's also still too long. Much shorter than at launch, but still way too long. I could do my taxes in the time it takes to kill SSS once, and you need to do it multiple times to max out the rewards. And that's why it failed ultimately. It's a mod that severely limits player expression in a game beloved for how much it gives to the player. We love this game because, unlike most other gachas, you can really use whoever the fuck you want and still win. SSS is the antithesis to everything Arknight stands for, and thusly it became a filler, skippable mod the developers are ashamed of. That's all. Max out your link. Bye. Hello. Thank you for watching, and a special thank you to the channel sponsors shown on screen right now. In particular, New Itai... New... New Itakoyaki? Yeah, okay, fuck, yeah, that was good. New Itayoke... Ah, fuck! New Itakoyaki, Noobpo, Lord Takeo, Come to Brazil, Good Old Leon, Maxi Oses, and Chloma Chan, but GGF. Cheers. Over and over again I wish you knew and love